everybody. We're back. Lenny and Jay here. With Live to Journey. Live to Journey. This week's episode is about essential items that you should have, probably have, for your RV journeys, especially if you're purchasing a new RV, you're getting ready to get into the RV yes. life. Yes. You can use this list of things, and it's 44 items. 44 We've racked our brains. Items. we got a lot of questions about this. So that's why crap. we're making that's this video. we racked our brains over the last two days trying to figure out essential items yes. that you would need to take with you or have with you. Definitely need. Most of these are, mm -hmm. are kind of more full-time geared like like what we yes. do. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a weekend warrior, you're probably not going to need some of these things. But, some of these things. But and, and they're not all essential. Some of them are more of luxury yeah. items. But almost all of them are things that we have can't used. Can't live without. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can't really live without or we use on a regular mm -hmm. basis or we've needed from time to time. Yeah. So we're going to get right into it. Again, we're going to start with the outside stuff. We're going to blow right through these so this video mm -hmm. doesn't take forever. Just stick with us until the end so we can get through them all. And then in the end, we're going to talk about where you can get these things, the different places, the different mm -hmm. prices, so you can shop around. The first item we're going to talk about is the Stinky Slinky. Stinky Slinky. Just one thing I wanted to mention about the Stinky Slinky and that there's, there's two different kinds that you can get. One of them compresses really well and only ends up being about three feet long yes. once it's fully compressed. And the other one, which is supposed to be more rigid, doesn't fully compress. They're both the same length. But the fully compressed one we like a lot better. Yeah. Not only does it kind of work better, but it stores. It's tighter, so it stores better in your little compartments that you use if you have the pass-through or if you're putting it in your bumper. So I would recommend getting the slinky that fully compresses. Mm -hmm. it's Number be... two, septic shutoff valve. <laughs> septic <laughs> shutoff valve. Uh, Volterra makes one. Um, Camco makes one. It's the little shutoff valve. You'll see a right. picture again. We're going to post pictures of most, almost all of these things, I believe. The uh, shutoff valve is essential for a fifth wheel. It is. Because if you don't use it, and we made a video on it, check that mm -hmm. out. But it's definitely essential for a fifth wheel. It just helps you from having that mistake where you've got your thing shut off and you go to undo the your stinky slinky and all of a sudden some more you know, stuff comes out of your pipes mm -hmm. and gets on your hand. And or a hitch in the face. That would be a disaster. <laughs> so... Shut off valve is an essential. Number three. Number three. Power, power cord. cord An <laughs> extension. An extension if you need one. So the mm -hmm. so your power cord you have to have. Yeah. Uh, just make sure you get the right size, whether you're a 50 amp or a 30 amp. Yes. They're different sizes. They're different prices. Mm -hmm. And then you can get an extension, which I would recommend an extension because yeah. we have been mm -hmm. twice in a place where where we had to park was just too far away from where our power yeah. uh, source was, our right. power supply, so we had to use the extension. So I would definitely recommend getting an extension. Yep. So next is the surge protector. Yep, number four. Four? We're on four? Yeah. Four is the surge protector. Yes. Uh, that's a must-have. Mm-hmm. Uh, you definitely want to get it, and I would recommend getting a second one, a backup. Yes. Because what happened to us? In Illinois, our surge protector... Blew up. <laughs> yeah, we. I don't know if it was a lightning storm yeah. or something, but our we it, it did its job mm -hmm. and it blew, and we didn't have a backup and we had right. to drive about thirty five miles to an RV place to get one. Yeah. Make sure you get the right size again. There's a fifty yes. amp and a thirty amp, and there's a bunch of different kinds. Do your mm -hmm. research. Just get what you want. You know, based on price and right. and what you. They all kind of do the same thing. Some of them just have a little bit more bells and whistles, which may or may not be necessary. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> so after that is going to be your adapters, number five. Number five, adapters. All your power adapters. So yes. you have 50 to 30 amp adapters. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you pictures. we got 30 to 50 amp adapters. you got 50 to 110, 30 to 110. Yeah. All kinds of adapters. Uh, I would get at least one of each. Yes. Uh, we've used all of them. Our next yes. thing. Awning tie downs. Awning tie. We're calling mm -hmm. the awning tie down mm -hmm. assembly. Mm -hmm. This is just something that we put together based on other uh, videos that we yeah. watched. But it is your what we use to secure our awning. So if we get gusts of wind, you're not going to lose your awning. Mm -hmm. or it's, gonna, it's not going to get broken. Those things are expensive to replace. Right. There is not one place that we've stayed that we haven't had some gust of winds. Oh, yeah. So there mm -hmm. are some parks that don't allow you to put stakes in the ground, right. which we've just used our, our kettlebells, like mm -hmm. our free weights that we right. have, to and anchor work. them. And they did work. Mm -hmm. But definitely want to anchor it down because it doesn't matter where you're at, you're going to get some wind. And if you go out to eat or something and you think you're fine, the wind could mm -hmm. gust and you could lose your awning. Mm -hmm. So they're really cheap. Yes. It's just the hook, the spring. The string. The, the hook, the, the spring, the string, <laughs> and then the... And the stakes. And then the stakes. And you can get almost 
all of those things mm -hmm. at a hardware store, pretty much any hardware yes. store or gardening place. Those hooks you can usually find in the gardening mm -hmm. center. Yeah. That was number six. Number seven. Outside mats. Yeah, I, I, mm. not essential thing. You can live without them, but they're very nice. I feel like they're essential. Yeah, because <laughs> you're going to be at a lot of places that have mm -hmm. dirt, gravel, yes. mud uh, that you don't want to be tracking in and out Rocks. of your RV. Mm -hmm. And as far as mats go, we've been through a lot of mats. We, we have. We started with, with cloth mats or whatever. Mm. And even though they like say the they're... the carpet, indoor, outdoor yeah. carpeting. But if you look at, especially this picture up here, mm -hmm. If you get the all-weather outdoor mats that are plastic, those things are awesome. There's several different brands out there. Shop around for the best price. Different They're all pretty sizes. much the same. Yeah, you can get a bunch of different mm -hmm. sizes. Those things are great. They're reversible. You can mm -hmm. hose them right off. They yeah. don't hold dirt in like the, the other types of mats. So those things work great. They're amazing. Ruckus, I need you to go lay down, bud. <laughs> all right, so where are we at? Grill. Yeah, number eight. Yeah, number eight is grill. Yes. Again, not an essential item unless you're a man and you have to grill. So thousands of grills out there to choose from. Mm -hmm. Pick whatever you want. Go crazy. Just remember space. It's all about yeah. space. We went with a small Weber grill. We use it all the time. I love it. Yes. Would I love to have a smoker or a Blackstone and do crazy amounts of stuff with? Sure. Sure. But space-wise, I like the Weber and it's worked great for us. Yes, it has. So, uh, number nine. Folding table for the grill. And the reason why we brought this up is because we have been to a park, two parks I think, they specifically didn't want you grilling on their picnic tables. Right. So a lot of people just put their mm -hmm. grills on the picnic table. Uh, and then there's parks we've been to that didn't have any picnic table. So then what do you do? Then what do you do? So most people have like a little table or something. <laughs> is he biting you? It's tickling me. Ruckus, lay down. So most people have like a little table that you can set your grill up on. We have right. a little cheap folding table yep. that I got at Walmart or something. That's worked for us for two years now, but it it's getting kind of mm -hmm. it's getting kind of weathered. Cause yeah. I leave it outside, and I just saw this uh, folding table on Amazon, which is a, a wire mesh or a, a metal yes. mesh table, which I'm going to pick up next, mm -hmm. and that's going to be our new grilling table. So folding table yeah. was number nine, and just talking about picnic tables, right. kind of another item that's mm -hmm. not on the list, but maybe just honorable mention is a tablecloth. Right. If you like doing a lot of outside stuff, mm -hmm. eating outside on the picnic table, then pick up a, a tablecloth. Definitely. Uh, but that didn't make the list. So number 10 is tire covers. Tire covers. Now again, this is an essential item if you're going to stay at a place for two weeks or more, I would say. Some right. people say three weeks to a month. But there's a time frame, and it, a lot of it deals with temperature if you're in really hot or really cold. Yeah. But if you want to you want to cover the tires to your rig if you're stationary in one place for more than a couple weeks because that tire will start to deteriorate if it's not if it's not being recharged right. by being moved. Mm -hmm. So, all right, number 11, tire chocks. Tire chocks, definitely mm -hmm. an essential item. Yes. We've got videos on, you know, uh, hooking up and breaking down. Right. You, you got to have a good tire shock. And I would stay away from the plastic ones. There's tons yes. of people who have rolled over those mm -hmm. and they've just flattened them out. The rubber ones, we got ours at Harbor Freight. You can get right. them at Tractor Supply. The thick rubber tire mm -hmm. chocks are a must have. Right. Number 12 is <laughs> jack blocks. Well, your blocks. Uh, blocks for your stabilizers. Yeah. There's Anderson Blocks makes them. Uh, the jack mm -hmm. block, which is also by Anderson, right. which are the, the round drum that we use for our fifth wheel. We love those. Um, you can make your own blocks out of wood or other things, mm -hmm. but they're usually going to be heavier. Yeah. The Anderson Blocks are lightweight and very durable, so they're, they're a great... They're any of the, There's a bunch of companies that make those mm -hmm. plastic blocks that work great. And the reason why people use them is because... The further you have to put your stabilizers down, mm -hmm. the less stable they become. So it's always good to kind of put a block under your stabilizers to create more stability because they're wider out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number 13 is the water pressure regulator. Right. This is a necessity. This is an essential because mm -hmm. there's a lot of parks out there that you have to have these. Yeah. Uh, and for good reason. If you're somewhere that has very high water pressure, it could damage your your fittings that you right. can burst a pipe inside your mm -hmm. rig so there's you can get the expensive regulator that lets you adjust the the amount of psi mm -hmm. that you have and then there's the cheap one that always sticks i think it's between 45 and 50 or something like that either one of those works yeah. definitely get one or both i think we have both here. again better to have it than not to have it better to have it and, and better to need it and have it than right <laughs> have it not need it wait no no better to be safe than sorry <laughs> 
All right, so the number 14. Splitter. Your, your little Y-gate uh, splitter that you put on your right. your um, water source. Oh, the other one is the, the elbow. The elbow. Right, so mm -hmm. the, we're, since it's kind of the same thing, we'll just put this under fittings. Fittings. But the little elbow, the little brass elbow fitting, mm -hmm. is great for putting it in, putting it on your rig to where you don't have that that weight pressure being right. on your hose. Right. So pick up a couple of those elbows mm -hmm. and a Y, and you're good to go. Yeah. Number fifteen is your heated hose. Now heated hose. This is is an essential item if you're mm -hmm. going to be camping somewhere that gets below freezing. Right. In the winter, uh, obviously. And even in Florida, mm -hmm. we had a couple days below 30, yeah. or right around 30. So we even needed it when we were in Florida. We didn't use it mm -hmm. all the time. We just monitored the weather, and if we right. knew it was going to be below 30, mm -hmm. we went ahead and hooked it up. What's next? Regular water hose. Regular water hose. <laughs> obviously, you're going to need one right. of those, two of those. I would get, I think we have three. Mm -hmm. And then we have a couple smaller hoses because you're going to go from your water source right. to if you have a, uh, a filtration system, which mm -hmm. that's also an essential, essential, which didn't make the list yes. until just now. Yeah. So maybe water hoses Definitely is a given. Need a filter system. We'll say a filtration mm -hmm. system, yeah. a water filtration system. So you're going to need a couple different hoses for that. Definitely a couple long hoses and then some shorter hoses for all your right. little connections. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just leave that at that. So, <laughs> and the next one is save a drop. The save a drop water meter. I've, I've, mm -hmm. I mentioned this in a short that we have. Uh, it's just you'll see the picture. Um, I use that thing all the time. I use it when mm -hmm. I'm flushing the tank. Sometimes I like to fill up the tank a little bit uh, to, right. and then flush it out. I also used it for when we were hooking up the water softener mm -hmm. and trying to figure out how much water we were using for the softener. So right. I had it running for that. You know, once you're done flushing your tank, you always like to put a little bit more water in your yes. tank, usually about five gallons, or I think mm -hmm. they say five or 10% of right. your capacity. And that thing right there mm -hmm. will, will save you a guessing game. <laughs> for 18. Vent covers. Yeah. Oh. Wow, wait. you skipped all the way to <laughs> 20. Number 18. Generator. Generator. <laughs> Yeah, uh, generator is is probably mm -hmm. a must have, especially if you plan on doing anything off grid, any type of boondocking right. or dry camping. You're gonna need a generator. There's a bunch of different styles out there. This right. is just uh, mm -hmm. one of them. I, I can't even remember the kind we have, but it's almost too big. We have one that has a 30 amp connection for mm -hmm. it, so we can run at least one AC unit. Right. You can just get a small generator that'll allow you to run your fans mm -hmm. and your fridge and stuff if that's all you need. Right. And wow. there's been places that we've stayed and the power has gone out. Oh, yeah. So it's up to you what you want to get and, mm -hmm. and what you think you're going to need. If you think you can just deal without your AC unit, you can get a smaller generator. I cannot. Uh, do your research on a generator, but you're definitely going to need one of those. Yes. What's next? Step ladder. Step ladder. Mm -hmm. Now, this is obviously not an essential. Right. But I use it all the time. It's just kind of one of those things. You may not need it ever, but... It's nice to have. I've had, I've used it mm -hmm. multiple times since we've got it. So, number twenty, vent covers. Vent covers. It's nice to be able to not have to worry about rain getting into your rig if you're yeah. if you have to have your vents open for when you're cooking or if you burn something. Which <laughs> I tend to do a lot. So vent covers, kind of a, an essential. Yes. Next is going to be your air compressor. So this air is definitely compressor. an essential. Yes. Uh, we had a, a a bigger air compressor that we started mm -hmm. with. I eventually. Uh, Upgraded and downsized to the, the Viair air compressor, which I really like. That thing mm -hmm. works really good, although it did burn the crap out of me at one point. But <laughs> uh, air compressors, there's a bunch of different ones on the market. Do your mm -hmm. research, figure out which ones you like the most. Right. Uh, the Viair one is, is small, it's compact, mm -hmm. it works really well. And it, you want to make sure you also have a compressor that will inflate your tires. If you've got mm -hmm. or some of the bigger rigs, they have tires that have to go up to like 125 psi, and yeah. a lot of air compressors. You have to make sure it'll go up to 125 PSI. Exactly. Moving right along to number 22 is tool bag. Tool bag. Now this kind mm -hmm. of encompasses having like a little tool kit. Obviously, yeah. almost anybody has too much tools. I had way too many <laughs> tools and it was really hard for me to kind of narrow these down right. to what I thought I was going to need. I probably still have, I still have some tools that I've never used since we've been camping yeah. in two years, but they're just like, mm, what if, yeah. what, what if, if something falls off? That needs <laughs> ratcheting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's up to you what you think you're mm -hmm. going to need. I've got a little tool bag with the stuff that I that I think I need. I've got yeah. probably more than I need, but definitely a lot less than I could have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's put it that way. Yeah. All right, what's next? Number 23, extension, extension cord. cords. 
Obviously, mm -hmm. extension cord. At least right. one good extension cord. I think I have two. Use them all the time. We do. I use one of them all the time. And I think that's wraps it up for the outside yep. stuff. That's it for the outside. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll right into the inside. So basically, everything that you use in your kitchen, you need it in your RV kitchen. Yeah, well, think of the essential yeah. stuff for your home. It's going to be the same thing for your exactly. RV for the most part. If we missed anything, if there's something yeah. in here that you <laughs> think is essential that we didn't touch on, leave a comment, let us know, and uh, we'd be happy yes. to add it into our next list. <laughs> We're going to continue on for inside stuff. starts right. with number 24. Sink drain. Drain screen. Uh, we'll put a picture mm -hmm. up there. And these things are great. You can get them in yes. different sizes. Different sizes because you want some for your kitchen and in your bathroom. It really stops mm -hmm. anything from getting in there. Catches right. all the hair in the shower. Catches all the food particles yes. in your sink. I mean, those things work great. Like Definitely it. essential. Yes. 25. Laundry basket. Collapsible. Collapsible. There's a bunch of them on the market. They're cheap. If you're going to laundromats, you definitely want some type of a hamper. And these collapsible right. ones. Uh, they are great. They work great. 26. 26. Folding, Folding step, step stool. stool. I definitely think you need it because some of these rigs are stuff is high up. I don't think we ever had one in our travel trailer. No. Because everything was lower to the yeah. ground and you could reach the ceiling easy, like your, your vent cover or your vents for your AC units. Right. I would say almost essential if you're in a if you're in a tall if you're in a fifth wheel yeah. or something where you can't reach things that you need to get to. Right. You need a step stool. Next is trash can. Yes. It's a must that they all have lids. That's gonna help with your smells. You also have it in the bathroom. Right. A lot of times you might be boondocking and you can't you don't wanna like put a lot of toilet paper down in your toilet. So I put it into the trash bucket. Are we going to talk about that? Yes, we're going to talk <laughs> about that because it's real. Less toilet paper in your plumbing, the better off you are. Yes, this is true. Moving right along. Number 28, dog food container. I'm going to pull ours out right now so you can see it. But these things are awesome. Give me a little dog food container. You mm -hmm. pick them up. I think we got this one tractor supply. We got tractor supply or you can get Pet Smart. Hey, you can get them anywhere. If you got dogs, we wanted to include it as an essential because we love them. Uh, number 29. Electric heater. We had one when we were in our travel trailer because our travel mm -hmm. trailer didn't have a fireplace. This uh, fish wheel has an electric fireplace, which works great. Mm -hmm. We still have that electric heater, I yes. think, uh, just in case this thing ever craps out on us. But those little electric heaters, because you're in a small, yeah. a small space, they work great. I think you need is cheap towels on hand. I'm not talking about your bath towels. I'm talking like... Bath size towels, but they're cheap and handy. She's talking about bath yeah. towels, just cheap ones. <laughs> yeah. You know, Walmart brand, whatever. Mm -hmm. Cheap. You know, a, a, just get a bundle of, of cheap towels that you don't lose, right. that you don't use until you need to use them for an emergency. Just in case. Is it an essential? No, but if you need it, you <laughs> have it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number thirty-one. Yeah. Command strips. Yes, command strips. I love them. <laughs> I think it's a must. He's like, it's not a must, but I say it's definitely a must. She, if she yeah. likes it, it's essential. So <laughs> It's essential. Yeah, I mean, we use them all over the place. We've, we've probably got 30 mm. of those things sticking all over the place. for Because yes. we don't want to screw anything in our walls. Right. We don't have any screws anywhere. We use nothing but command strips to hang our coats, hang our, our uh, towels, leashes, towels, towels, hats, everything. everything. So mm -hmm. they're pretty cool. Number 32 is broom. Definitely need a broom. Obviously, you want to have a broom. Right. Handheld broom for your stairs for outside. And we, yeah, both of our brooms mm -hmm. we use outside. We don't yeah. use them inside uh, because we don't need them because we right. use a vacuum for the inside, which we'll mm -hmm. get into that. But we have a regular broom for outside. Uh, sweeping off your mat, I have a handheld broom that I use for the stairs. steps mm -hmm. and for the, the grill table and just right. anything. I mean, they're great to have. Yeah. Uh, which is 33. We did hand broom. I mean, that really didn't need to make a number, but <laughs> we put it there anyway. We've already talked about it, so we're going to move on to 34. Okay. 34 is a mop. Mop. Because, again, accidents happen, <laughs> and yeah. you want to mop your floor. Yeah. I mean, you can always just get on your hands and knees mm -hmm. and do it. It's up to you. I mean, right. they make cheap little... We have a Swiffer mop. Yes. So, and, and we use that to, you can just to break clean, it down. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. clean the floors regularly. Right. Especially when you have dogs. You're going to want something yeah. to clean the floors. Unless you're a pig. <laughs> so number 35 is cable ties cable ties now this is a cable tie Bing. yes that's one size it's just one little mm -hmm. size it's really little right they make these in all different sizes you can mm -hmm. get them in all different places uh i think the first place we picked one up was at 
Lowe's tractor, tractor, tractor supply. Tractor supply. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we use these to secure our yes. cabinets back there. Mm-hmm. Um, not those two because they're separate, but our cabinets that are together, like the ones right. on the right over there, we have a long one. But these are great. You just run them through your, your handles and you, mm-hmm. you tie it off and it keeps your cabinets from popping open up. during travel. Uh, and extension rods. That's number 36. Yes. That's a definite. That's a must have, I think. Because yep. you can put them in your cabinets to hold all the stuff in and for your refrigerator as well. Yeah, they're really cheap. Mm-hmm. You can get the different sizes. We got the longer mm-hmm. ones for our fridge. You get them at Walmart or somewhere else cheap because usually they, they right. do sell them at some RV places, but they're usually more expensive for not really any reason. You're getting yeah. the same thing. So Number 37. We just said kitchen items. Yeah. This is your pots, your pans, your utensils. Everything you use in, a, in your own kitchen, you're going to want in your RV. If you go on an mm-hmm. RV trip and you leave and you get there and you're like, wow, I don't have any pots or pans or utensils, that's on you. <laughs> uh, number 38, we toilet put toilet paper. paper. The reason why we put toilet yes. paper, obviously it's an essential. Uh, we use Scott towels. They're one ply. They're, they're septic right. tank safe. They're, they're way cheaper than the RV toilet specific mm-hmm. toilet paper that you buy at RV places and things like that. So. And it works. Yeah. And we've been mm-hmm. using it for two years and we've never had an issue. Right. Uh, number 39 is your black tank deodorizer. That is a must. Yeah. You, it's, mm-hmm. it, those, those things are great. We've used two different brands. Right. I'll put them up here. The little drop-in pods. We didn't really like those. I don't like how that plastic They're melts. Okay. We ended up sticking with the Happy Camper, which is just you scoop it in. That works mm-hmm. really good. So yeah. that's a must, the deodorizer. Every time you flush your tank and you, you put a little bit more water in your tank, you throw right. that in there. It keeps everything smelling like daisies. Yes. Moving on to number 40. We're getting there, folks. Bins. Yeah. If you've got stuff sitting around that you right. don't have a place for when you're traveling, it's always nice to have a little bin or a big yes. bin that you can kind of put everything in. 41. Number 41. Coffee maker. Yeah, coffee maker. This is a must, especially for this guy. Yes. Love coffee. Got to have it. So coffee maker definitely made the list. Uh, number 42. Vacuum. Yeah. That so, is a total must. Yeah. Now we have a shop vac mm-hmm. that we use outside all the time. I use it to clean the truck. Yep. This rig actually comes with central vac. Yeah. But we store the hose in the pass-through. So going and getting the hose and everything, yeah. just we, we actually rarely ever use it. Uh, I like the Dyson. So we ended up getting a Dyson mm-hmm. when we had the travel trailer, which didn't have central vac. And right. so we just we brought that in here. We use the Dyson all the time. Yeah, That's they're expensive, great. but... It works great. It's lightweight. We actually stick it in the cupboard to charge it so it's not out of the way. And it breaks down to a handheld. Yeah, it's handheld. You can add the wand. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's very versatile. Versatile. So, uh, so we like it. Uh, again, we're not sponsored by Dyson. Right. Unless they want to sponsor us. <laughs> 43. Number 43. Did we put diesel card in for number 43. Yes. And the reason why is because that's saved us a lot of money. Yes. Uh, we use the Open Roads mm-hmm. app, the diesel card through, I think it's TSD Logistics. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong about that, and I didn't look at it beforehand. So yeah. um, we'll make a video about this. There's a bunch yeah. of other videos about the Open Road app, but it's just a diesel card that helps you save money on your gas. Uh, number 44. 44. This is Internet our last one. Internet connection. Yeah, Internet connectivity. <laughs> uh, there's a tons of different ways you can get internet to your right. rig if you need internet. Um, we obviously need it because of what yeah. you know what we're doing. We like to stream things. We binge have, watch stuff. We like to binge watch our little <laughs> Korean dramas. <laughs> we've always had the, the little data card that you get from your yeah. provider we have Verizon so we use a little mm-hmm. data card there's a bunch of options there's mm-hmm. the Starlink you know right. if you want to spend a lot of money but I heard it's yeah. really good we haven't tried that out yet there's the satellites that people mm-hmm. get I mean there's a bunch of different options right. look into them try to figure out what's best for you if you even need it the little my five pucks mm-hmm. we just wanted to mention that because for a lot of people it's essential for some people you know, probably right. a very few amount of people. It's not essential at all, especially for the weekend warrior type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not going to need an internet. You probably don't want it. You probably just want to stay unplugged while you're gone. That's great. Right. Don't get it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll go into more detail into that in another video. But yes. that was it. That's, That's our it. 44. The last thing we're going to say, which we mentioned in the beginning, is mm-hmm. where do you get all these things? So, obviously, RV dealers sell mm-hmm. most of this stuff. Right. Almost all of it. Mm-hmm. Some of it you have to, you can get, you can get all of it. From Amazon. Right. It's not necessarily cheaper from Amazon. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's more expensive. 
usually it's just mm -hmm. easier to have it sent to wherever you're at. But uh, Walmart usually Walmart. has it mm -hmm. cheaper. Tractor, Tractor Supply. Supply. And there's other hardware stores. We're on the East Coast, so those are the ones that we know. Right. You know, you go out the West Coast, I'm sure there's some stuff out there that have uh, that have these things. But look around, mm -hmm. shop around. Right. Some dealers, if you buy a rig there, they'll give you a, a discount on the stuff that you purchase mm -hmm. from them. So that can be a thing. You know, just do the math and see where you can get the best deal and exactly. then go, go from there. But this is mm -hmm. just our 44 points, mm -hmm. uh, our 44 point list. Phew, we made it. That was a lot. <laughs> we got through it as fast as we could. Uh, again, Leave a comment if there's anything yes. that you think should be essential that we left out. Is that it? That's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Yes, if you want to see more so videos, much. if you want to keep laughing at us, then uh, mm -hmm. you know, like us, subscribe, like the video, subscribe, yes. check out our other videos. Keep watching and enjoy, and we appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Yeah, we love you guys. We thank you so much for watching and supporting us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Peace. <laughs> Be no